Hi everyone, Wynn Claybaugh here and welcome to our first fire burner for our 2023 fundraising campaign. So this is our 20th year of fundraising, which means you guys are part of a legacy. They were future professionals 20 years ago who are doing exactly what all of you are doing right now. And that is that they're using their voice, they're using their talents, they're using their passion to raise money and to make a difference. And I, I tell you something, I couldn't be more excited and more proud of all of you. Now, before we get started, I want to introduce my co-host for today. We've done this before. Uh, he is the co-owner of John Paul Mitchell Systems. He is a platform artist, a good friend, uh, a model, spokesperson, a proud hairstylist, and absolutely a leader in the beauty industry. His father was the late legendary hairstylist Paul Mitchell himself. And so Angus literally grew up in this company and in this industry. Welcome my, my good friend, my good partner, Angus Mitchell. We're so excited to have you a part of this today, Angus. Uh, thank you. Hi, Wynn. Hi, everyone. It is an absolute honor to be here. You know, Angus, I, I, I just have to ask, why are you so passionate about our fundraising campaign? Because you say yes year after year. I know that this is a favorite time of, of the year for you and working with our Paul Mitchell schools. And I just, I just want to know from, from your heart, why is this so important to you? Uh, well, I mean, when it, first of all, it's in the DNA of our company. Um, started with my father and with John Paul from the very, very beginning. Uh, from the time that we said we don't uh, test on animals, um, we, we put that on, on our bottle in 1980 when that didn't even exist. All of that awareness did not exist. And what the schools and what you and what everyone else, what everyone does to contribute to help make the world a better place is uh, really such a outstanding, wonderful thing to do. Um, my father always said it's important to leave the world a much better place than whence you have come. And I, I believe that that's what, uh, what all of you and what the schools do. It's funny because uh, before we started recording this, you and I were having a conversation about, about your father, about having a, a famous parent and the responsibility of taking that legacy and doing more with it. And I think that's exactly where I know that's exactly what you have done. And, and that's where your heart and your passion is. So, so thanks, Angus, and congratulations for that. Thank you, Wynn. So this year, we have a goal of raising $2 million. And by the way, we have surpassed that dollar amount uh, several years. And it's for 10 national charities. And get this over 97 local charities selected by you, our schools. And even though we're just two weeks, it's only two weeks into this campaign, we have a lot of victories to celebrate. So Angus, you wanna start things off? Absolutely. Paul Mitchell, the school in New York City kicked off the fundraising with a salute to my beloved Hawaii. Their tiki theme and fundraising thermometer featured a huge volcano and clouds that hang from the ceiling. With a plane flying over the amount raised, their tiki stands and signs had clever wording such as Windy Clay Lagoon and DeJoria Jungle. They served Avapui Punch and held limbo contests and used a beach ball in their hot potato game. Team members and future professionals shared information about the charities they loved, followed by day and night school one events. That raised two thousand dollars. I should have been at that event when you, you would have fit right in. You you got the you have the wardrobe for it. You got the attitude. You have the DNA for that one. So that's awesome. And I th I think we need to say something now about what's happening in in Hawaii. Just that our, our hearts go out with these wildfires. It's <clears throat> absolutely heartbreaking and devastating. And and by the way, knowing that that I'm sure we will have some some applications, some, some grant requests from students and hairdressers in Hawaii uh, that we will be supporting because of the work that we do with the Andrew Gomez Dream Foundation. So pretty cool. Yes, please. And that's on a serious note. I mean, it, it was very, very scary watching the news. I think for all of us, um, yes, our hearts do uh, go out. And, you know, again, this is why it's so important that we do continue to do good and reach out and you know, make magic happen where it, it, it's important to be. Yeah. Thanks, Angus. So continuing with this at Palmage of the School, Greenville, I love these people. The Pet Club and Be Nice Club, they teamed up to host their school's first ever pet fashion show for their community with all the proceeds going to Best Friends 
Animal Society. The contestants included a pair of unlikely siblings, a fish named Crap, and a dog named Picket, who was found abandoned in Afghanistan. The pet wow. show took Greenville's fundraising total to over $1,500. Wow, that's incredible. Fish called Crap. That's like a fish called Wanda, one of my favorite movies. <laughs> Paul Mitchell, the school Maryville, raised $250 with their tie-dye event. For a $10 entry fee, feature professionals brought whatever they wanted to tie-dye. The fundraising committee supplied rubber bands, gloves, and everything else, then followed it with a tie-dye spirit day so participants could model their new creations. That's so creative, and I have to jump in and say $250. And some people might be thinking, oh, well, you know, only $250. Let me tell you something. How we have raised $24 million in the last 19 years is, is not by asking for $1,000 uh, donations. How we've raised that is $10 at a time, even $5 at a time. But it's because we do so many events and we have so many passionate team members and future professionals that are doing events like this one that we've been able to now again raise $24 million. So it's it's pretty outstanding. Palmer to the School Grand Rapids raised approximately $7,000 with their one event, including a first 100 qualifier who raised $3,000. Whoa. Speaking of the first 100 contests, I love knowing that the first 100 feature professional team members, national educators, and alumni who raise $3,000 individually will get to attend the fundraising gala on Sunday, October 22nd. And by the way, the next day, Monday, October the 23rd, our first 100 winners will have a day of hands-on education with John Mosley and Stephen Moody or with celebrity makeup artist Aga Rhodes. Angus, I know that you have a, a personal relationship with Stephen Moody and John Mosley, so I'm sure you want to add your uh, endorsements of how brilliant they are. Oh, come on now. John Mosley is the coolest of cool. You will feel how... Beautiful this man's vibe is. He's just one big, beautiful teddy bear, and he just has this love and finesse and a way of being able to really connect with you about barbering, his passion about people. Uh, but really what I love is just how he approaches his work and how he really gets you involved. So uh, John Mosley is amazing. I'm going to be there for that for sure. Stephen Moody, he is probably, to me, the best educator in the craft of cutting hair. He has been around a long time. I've had a personal uh, relationship with him where he was actually the first person that taught me how to cut hair back in the early 90s, when 1992, not that long ago. Yeah. To me, he's uh, the most highly respected person in the industry. And uh, it's just going to be a wonderful treat for you to be able to get both of these two people uh, to kind of take you through their journey of what the industry really needs. I love that endorsement because uh, future professionals, team members listening to this, trust me, there's going to come a time in your career when you're going to tell people, yeah, while I was going to school, I had a hands-on class with Stephen Moody. I had a hands-on class with Aga Rhodes or with John Mosley. And people are going to like, really? You That really happened for you? So this is a huge opportunity. So as we're recording this message, we currently have three first 100 winners. So the first 100, so there's still lots of opportunity for all of you. And for the latest news about how many spots are left each week, watch for the fundraising e-blasts and upcoming fire burners. We want to see all of your fundraising victories, so make sure you include the campaign hashtags when you share your news on social media. The hashtags are PMTS because of you and PMTS gives 23. Now, if you've already posted something and you forgot to use these hashtags, you guys, it's not too late. And I, I'm, I'm going to plead and ask you that you go back because on most platforms, you can use the edit feature and add your tags after the fact. But we want to gather all of these incredible victories and, and photos and stories uh, in one location. So please go back and tag us so that we can like and share your fundraising success. I can't wait to hear your victories and celebrate your 20 year of giving. Because of you, lives will be changed and countless people will be helped. Uh, speaking of victories, does your school have a thermometer to track your fundraising progress? It's not too late to put one up. People need to see dollar per dollar how they're doing, 
You do the same thing when you watch a football game. You're constantly looking at the scoreboard. Uh, in fact, to inspire every school to play full out and deck your walls for fundraising, you can enter the fourth annual Deck Your Walls contest. The contest closes at 5 p.m. Pacific time on August 18th, so you still have a few more days to enter. Email your photos to nancy at winclaybaugh.com. And remember, you must include photos of both your wall and your thermometer to be considered. Now, if you need some more inspiration, take a look at these amazing thermometers. Pummel to the School San Antonio is tracking their progress with a colorful Mario Brothers theme. We already mentioned Paul Mitchell of the School of New York City, Hawaiian theme. Here's a closer look at their beautiful wall and thermometer. Before we wrap things up, I want to remind everyone about the Andrew Gomez online donation site. It's very user-friendly and the donations are instantly credited to your school so you don't have to keep track of the cash, checks, or credit card information. The online donation site is also great for tracking your first 100 contest. When people donate online, they can select your school and enter the name of the person they want to support. I want to really take the time to acknowledge our incredible Palm Mitchell School franchise owner and Andrew Gomez board member, Charles Reiser, who volunteers his time year after year to manage the donation site. If you have any questions about online donations, please have your school's fundraising creative master contact Charles at charles.riser at andrewgomez.org and visit the hub for more information about using the online donation site. I love you, Charles. Um, mm. I'm excited to share that this year's fundraising posters and mirror talkers have a QR code that goes to the fundraising website. Let everyone know that they can scan, click, learn about fundraising campaign and access the donation link directly from their phones. Angus, I have to just thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, trust me, your your time here, your contribution, anytime that you lend your name, your your voice, your, your humor, <laughs> your passion to everything that we do within the Palm Mitchell School world, it, it really does make a difference. So any, any final message you have for everybody? Yeah, I just want to say thank you for all of the school owners. Thank you for all of you future professionals and all of the learning leaders um, for everything that you do creatively to continue to think of new ways to raise money. Uh, knowing that we're all doing something special. It's all up to you to be able to make the difference. And I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Very, very grateful. I never take one moment for granted. And most importantly, I can't wait to see you guys at the gala. So please do whatever you can. Come on out. And, uh, you know, COVID's out the back door and I like to give hugs. So let's get ready. <laughs> one big love fest. Okay. Take mm -hmm. care. All of my love and aloha. Angus, I can add nothing to that because uh, let's just stay tuned because we have two videos to share with you. One from the incredible Stephen Moody, who we've been talking about, and also from our friends at No Limits. Happy fundraising, everybody. We love you. Stephen Moody, JPMS Artistic Director, and on the gram, at Hair Moody. Hello, Paul Mitchell School Future Professionals. Reaching out to say for 2023 fundraising project, go get them. As you all know, over the last 19 years, fundraising has raised locally and nationally $24 million. I had to read that twice. $24 million? That's insane. A big shout out to all the learning leaders and to you, Paul Mitchell Future Professionals. I know that you're going to make 2023 the best year ever. Looking forward to seeing many of you in bougie Beverly Hills in October. Stay in touch. Love you. She's our therapy dog. You know, sometimes our deaf children are very shy and they don't want to read out loud. But I got to tell you, she's made a huge difference in our kids' lives. They love to read to her. They love to play with her. They write about her. And the cool thing is, they come to the store. Kids will 
come in and they pretend they buy things for her. Do you know we have people, family, that would drive an hour and a half just to meet Zoe? And they're from one of our pop-up locations. We have little listeners who haven't developed any language skills yet. Because like I told you before, we start from birth to 21. And the kids love it. And what I'm trying to understand is how did this little girl end up with such a great intuitive as well as a beautiful heart? She is filled with love and compassion for these kids. And so gentle. See, I personally want to eat the kids because they're so doggone cute. You would think the dog would think like me, but apparently not. Do you know, a lot of kids with hearing loss are bullied. They get past judgment upon, they be made fun of, because people, a lot of people really don't understand children with hearing loss. But with Zoe, there's no judgment, there's no name, there's no labels, there's no limit to what these kids can do. And the cool thing is, it's unconditional love. All these kids know how to do when they see Zoe, just mm, love on her. Sometimes Zoe will have her paws up on the window looking for the kids. She's always looking for the kids. What a better opportunity. Could you know what? Most kids with low income families, they can't afford to have a dog. They can't afford to have a pet. And there's just something so precious about a relationship between a child and a dog. Well, Zoe's not really a dog. She's just a sweet girl that we love with all of our hearts.